The Genesis Remembrance Tree Ceremony is an annual event that provides us with an opportunity to honor loved ones we have lost. Joining us with the details on this year's service is Grief Counselor Lisa Levy and the Volunteer Hospice Coordinator Lucy Domani. Um, thank you ladies so much for being here. Uh, let's talk about the mission first of your hospice. Um, hospice is a wonderful program. Um, it's a holistic program, mind, body, and spirit, and it's comprised of a team of uh, doctors, nurses, um, medical social workers, bereavement care, volunteers, and chaplains. Um, and we hope to help families find the most out of life at end of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you guys, it's, it's kind of like a full circle approach. Clearly, of, yes. uh, all, the, all the folks that you just named, I mean, it takes a village to mm -hmm. just to create not only uh, something comfortable for the patient, but also the patient's family, family. members right. as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys have this uh, Remembrance Tree event that is coming up on Monday, uh, this mm -hmm. coming Monday, mm -hmm. November 6th. Um, so tell us a little bit more um, about what uh, folks can expect at that event. Sure, our outdoor event takes place at the Clarissa C. Cook Hospice House grounds, and that's in Bettendorf, uh, home of Genesis Hospice. At the event, it'll be a short ceremony outside again where all of our team will take place as well as the Quad City Singers will participate in our event this year. Um, the public is welcome to attend okay. and we're especially reaching out to family members and loved ones of patients who have died on our service mm -hmm. with Genesis Hospice in general throughout the years and especially this last year. This is a really unifying event that you guys hold. We're showing video from past years and um, just tell us so much the, the unity about it. Yes, mm -hmm. it really is a unique opportunity and it really means a lot to families to attend. They hope to see their uh, care team that cared for their loved one and worked with them. And so we really encourage our staff to be a part of the program. And it's um, only a half an hour. It's, it can be quite cold out there in the parking mm -hmm. lot. So you just never know. We, um, <laughs> the um, highlight is, of course, lighting the tree and um, the lights remember the loved one uh, from their family who has died. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa, why do you think it is so important to hold events like this one? Well, it's. Um, a very special opportunity to honor the person who has died in your family. Um, it allows public support for the family um, as they're suffering, um, and it helps us remember our loved one's legacy, uh, and we always want to celebrate someone's life. Mm -hmm. um, and there are different ways as well um, that folks can honor loved ones that they have lost, so obviously by attending this ceremony, but they can go beyond that mm -hmm. as long as they contact you. There are ways that they can do that, correct? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So our tree, as Lisa mentioned, is our kind of centerpiece for the event, and okay. every light can be sponsored. Okay. So that's with genesishealth.com slash tree. Someone can sponsor a light for their loved one or multiple loved ones. As well, we have our Isabel Bloom ornament, which is a fundraiser for Genesis Hospice. And you brought in this year's. It's yes. gorgeous. Wow. Um, nice and, you know, great size just for your tree. Mm -hmm. um, talk to us a little bit about this year's design that they chose. Well, it, the uh, name of the ornament this year is Heart in Hand, um, and with the ornament you receive a little card that says, we hold you in our heart forever. Mm -hmm. And so each year we come up with a different theme, um, and Isabel Bloom kindly works with us uh, for this event, and those ornaments can be purchased for $20 um, at the event also. Okay. All right, yeah, a nice little souvenir. And something that you said earlier that really struck me is that um, the people that participate, the public or people that have loved ones at Clarissa C. Cook, they like to go there, they like to see some of the staff members that they yes. met yes. Um, during that journey. Uh, it kind of reminds me of when you maybe saw the nurse that helped deliver your baby yes. or mm -hmm. the doctor that was there when a loved one had a heart attack or mm -hmm. you know things like that I mean why do you think um, what do you think it provides you know for family members when they get to see that person again mm -hmm. well I think in some ways it provides some closure oftentimes the end of someone's life we ideally want it to be peaceful and comfortable but sometimes yes. it's fraught with even crisis or family coming in distraction things like that and so being able to mm -hmm. see a care team member, it really wraps things up and makes you appreciate the whole experience that you went through. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Well, the uh, Genesis Remembrance Tree event is Monday, November 6th, so that's coming up. Again, it is an outdoor service. It starts at 6 p.m. And uh, for more information, we talked about honoring the memory of a loved one. You can just visit genesishealth.com slash tree. Uh, mm -hmm. Lucy and Lisa, thank you so much. Um, also, I would encourage people to go online and check out uh, the Hospice House, Clarissa C. Cook. Yes. You guys really have a lot to offer families, um, not only during that time, but families families, you know, going through the bereavement process as well. There's a lot there. So thank you. Thank you both thank so you. much. Great resource.